To use volume limits, the system must indeed know who you are. To do that, we'll configure authentication. It's best to do this via the web image monitor. First, you'll enable administration authentication. Second, you'll enable user authentication. And third, default is allow to continue. You'll change this to either finish and stop or stop. The default allow to continue will not limit the volume. Fourth, you'll change the multiplier from zero to some number. And fifth, you'll create an address book entry and set limits. Web in and select the login in the upper right. Lowercase admin, no password, and click login. Select device management and then configuration. Select administrator, authentication management. Select user administrator authentication and set to on. And check admin uh, tools and OK. Select user authentication management. Select the drop down and for this example, select user codes. You'll need to scroll down and limit the features. Here you can see I selected user code. Now since user code was selected from the previous slide, the header reads user code authentication settings. Now whatever is checked here will require a user code to grant the access. Now here is a gotcha regarding basic Windows, LDAP, and uh, other server authentication. SP5420 must be set to a 1 to allow the use of the feature even if an authentication says not to restrict. You'll select the print volume use limitation. Now the default is allow continue use. You must change this to one of the other choices to allow limits to be created. You must change the unit count setting to something other than zero. Basic math says that zero times any number is zero, so the limit system will not work. Let's look at the next slide. Here's my suggested settings. So for color A3 DLT, I selected two, and the others are a single. So basically uh, double clicking for 11 by 17. Go to device management and the address book. Select manual input and add a user. For user codes, you would input a code. Uh, the next slide, I'm going to demonstrate the basic authentication and show creating an actual username and a password. So we'll give it a username and key in the display and note that the login username is case sensitive. Here I use an uppercase S for the S1 user. I click change and input the password. Check the features the user is allowed and set the limit value for this example. I did five. Click OK. Now note the entry has been made. Press the hard key to log into the right of the panel. You'll key in the username. Remember the username is case sensitive and password. And then notice here on the lower left you'll see who you are logged in as and how many copies you made and are left. If you enabled user codes instead of one of the authentications, the lower left image is not displayed. Make a copy or some copies and you'll have to log out and log back in to see your account. I hope you found this video nugget useful and thanks for watching.